Yo guys, Speedy here with another Pocket Planes video. Today we're going to go over layovers and how to use them effectively in the game. Let's get into it. So every job in Pocket Planes has an origin and destination city. A job becomes a layover in any city that is not the origin or destination city. Each airport has a set amount of layover jobs it can hold. The higher level a city and the more it's upgraded, the more layover jobs can stay there indefinitely. Layover jobs will never disappear from a city, even after regular jobs refresh every 5 minutes. So how do you effectively use layovers in pocket planes? I would say that you don't need to start thinking about layovers until you get above level 15. By then, you should have created some distance between cities and unlocked the Pearjet and eventually the Aero Eagle. So the overall strategy behind layovers is to decrease the amount of time larger planes take to load up. Each city only spawns a certain number of jobs, and having the extra layover jobs will help a plane get off the ground and make money quicker. This is how I implemented layovers with my level 15 account. I have planes that I use to only deliver layover jobs between 2-3 to three cities. I call these support planes, since they only exist to support the larger fleet. I found that at lower levels, the Kangaroo M serves as a great support plane because of its low cost of operation. So in this example, my support plane will fly between Lagos and Kinshasa. I'll load up 4 jobs, usually 1 passenger and 1 cargo from the same city, and then I'll fly it to the partner city. Once it lands, I press and hold the unload button, which will quickly unload all the jobs at the same time. I then load the support plane back up with more jobs and fly it back to the partner city. Rinse and repeat. You can see how many layover spots are in each city here. You can see Lagos currently has 4 layovers, and 20 labor spots in total. As you upgrade the airports, the amount of labor spots will increase. Now that I have a few layovers in Lagos, it makes loading up other planes with a 25% boost a bit easier. And that's the ultimate goal. Get planes in and out of airports quickly so you can keep making money and leveling up. So here's what layovers look like on my level 91 account with fully upgraded level 3 airports. Most of my cities have over 40 layovers just waiting to be picked up. Layover jobs are quickly transported 10 at a time by my support Sequoias. As my Cyclones and Cloudliners begin to pick up these layover passengers, my support Sequoias are not far behind with refilling those spots back up. As you can see, my support Sequoia for Tokyo has just landed with 10 more layover jobs to drop off. I'll quickly unload those jobs and you'll see the layover numbers jump up from 44 to 54. Now I'll load the jobs back up and send it back to Seoul to drop off 10 more layover jobs there. This particular support plane services Beijing, Seoul, and Tokyo. Here's a quick overview of how I group my cities together. Each of these groups has one support plane that flies between them to drop off layover jobs. Using layovers is really the next step in unlocking your profit potential in pocket planes. It adds another layer of complexity and depth to an RE fun game. Once you get a good layover system in place, it really takes your airline to the next level. Let me know in the comments section how you use layovers yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.